So as we all know that square lamina when the axle of rotation is passing through the diagonal, so it will split up into two equal, equal triangles. So then what will happen? Moment of inertia about this uh, baseline if it's a triangle. So we all know that m h square by 6 and we all know that h value is how much? a root 2 by 2. We have already done. Am I right brothers? We have derived or not? Verify in our book. So that's what it is. So now I am substituting. So mass of that particular triangle mass of that particular triangle if you have taken what is the mass of the triangle m m or m by 2 everybody mass of the particular triangle is how much guys m by 2 mm -hmm. clear into what is the h h square what is the h ra h square how much guys h value is how much a root 2 by 2 whole square divided by 6 divided by 6 let me write into separately so now what will happen everyone here so the 2 and 2 will get cancelled and this will turn up into m a square root 2. Root 2 whole square means, let me write it, divided by 2 square means 4 into 1 by 6. So that now it will turn up into m into a square divided by square and root will get cancelled 2 divided by 4 into 6. So 2 1s are 2 twos are. So which equals to m a square divided by 6 twos are 12. So that is what is the moment of inertia. So please learn. We have already derived this. Is it is it or not? You verify and let me know. Moment of inertia. Am I right? So there is a so ma square by 12. Correct? Uh? Okay. Yes. So then what will happen? Moment angular momentum about this diagonal, about the axis, which is equals to so moment of inertia about this axis into omega. So which is equals to m a square by 12 into omega that's all it is so please solve unless you solve there is no progress you have to work kindly work okay so we'll go to the next one if you are ready then we'll do it any doubt you can ask it. clear guys okay next. yes sir next we are going with the plane motion so what is the angular angular uh, momentum so plane motion means it is a mixture of two motions which i already taught you long back anybody can tell me everybody plane motion which is a mixture of two motions what is that everyone which is a rotational motion plus and as well as translation motion so it is a mixture of two motions which we used to call as plane plane motion so let me take now if there is a surface where a ball is where a ball is uh, rolling on the ground okay so about a mass m about a fixed mass let me take a small mass i have taken m okay it is not the center of mass be careful small mass i have taken so about the point p so this is the point p okay everybody about this point p what is the angular momentum that is the question okay so as it is moving you can see clockwise or anti-clockwise everybody that is also very important it is rolling it is keep on going clockwise or anti-clockwise everybody it is clockwise direction only so whose total mass is capital m so now it is keep on rotating so about this fixed mass having a same velocity every point that is what Velocity through the center of mass is V I have taken. So we all know that angular angular momentum is equals to R into P. So now you can see. So we all know that P is equals to M into V. Now M is equals to R into V. So this is all we all people know so long back. Am I right everybody? Please respond guys. So why I am saying yes, this is a what? Linear momentum in which motion? Translation motion or rotational motion? Anybody? Yes, please. It is for what motion? Translatory motion. So, why means a body is rolling means it is a plane motion. Plane motion means both rotational motion plus translatory motion. So, moment of angular momentum about this point P, point P is actually it is two, two angular momentums. One is linear, that is what translational angular momentum plus rotational angular momentum so what is the translational angular momentum angle translational angular momentum is equals to m into r into v plus 
what is the rotational angular motion anybody can tell rotational angular momentum everybody just now we have studied correct guys what is that i through center of mass into omega understanding i into omega that is what it is about it okay but here i am using a formula the same formula so about that particular point is linear momentum plus or minus you can see i into angular momentum into omega so why sir i am using plus or minus when you are solving the questions you will understand so we proceed further everybody so what is the angular momentum everybody understanding amma angular momentum about this point everyone brothers so angular momentum about this point which is actually having a distance r if you have been taken so linear momentum sorry angular momentum about this point p that is what is the question they are asking so it is a mixture of two motions one is rotational motion another one is translational motion understand ma sai kartik narayan pradosh okay clear ma everybody so now so the same like imagine there is a surface now i am taking and there is a disk disk is just rolling imagine so this disk is rolling so who disk it is this disk so about the point mass that is what velocity through the com v and as you know disk means radius is remains constant of area everybody symmetrical bodies it is only applicable to symmetrical bodies so disk is a symmetry body having a radius r so mass is m radius is r angular velocity omega so now they are asking so about the point o what is the point actually 0 comma 0 so calculate the linear momentum that is what is our question so anybody can tell what is the linear momentum everybody so about this point they are asking so about this point means sorry so you can all verify it direction is also very important so this is what is actually r if this is the r all of you positive or negative we have to make by using right hand thumb rule that is why i written there so this is the small r so linear momentum sorry angular momentum about this point is equals to translational motion plus rotational motion about the center of mass about the center of mass so what is the formula of translational motion capital m into r into omega sorry r into v r into v okay plus r minus i into omega so now can you tell me what is this r r is equals to in this case yes please perpendicular distance that is equals to what everybody m v r perpendicular which is equals to what ra here what is r perpendicular r perpendicular is equals to radius r am i right rudresh sir understand ah yes sir yeah. so that is what so it will turn up into what m into r into v clear next plus or minus let us verify how to verify so this is the velocity so about this point this is the velocity v and this is the r so apply right hand thumb rule and tell me r to v r cross v clockwise or anti clockwise everybody clockwise or anti clockwise make it fast guys clockwise or anti clockwise come come from r to v it is going in inwards or outwards that is at least you tell me Arch. yes pradosh r cross v goes it will goes into inwards so inwards means Clock. data cross Clockwise. data cross inwards so it Clock. is inwards. so clockwise means positive or negative everyone it is positive sir so you have to take positive and what is the moment of inertia about the center of mass anybody disc ra disc ra it is disc center of mass ra please ma don't make me again and again say What is the moment of center of mass? Everybody, m r square by m r square by two. So m r square by two into omega. Clear? Ah, any doubt? You can ask me. All of you clear, guys? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So now we all knows that v is equal to what is the relation? V and omega relation. Can you tell me? V and omega relation. V is equal to r omega. R omega. R omega. Only what actually? capital r so r omega so i'll replace it m into r into r omega plus m r square by 2 omega so which is equals to m into r square omega plus m r square by 2 omega can you tell me the answer please 
3 by 2 3 by mr square omega it is inverse or outwards everybody it is inverse because r cross v r cross v it is clockwise or anti clockwise everybody it is clockwise so you apply your four fingers it is goes into the screen or out of, out of the screen everybody it is please respond into the screen clear up everybody understand mr kados mr kader yes sir yeah so narayan understand narayan mr rishi rohit prinzi yes sir sir Okay, so now, so this is what, now it is a clockwise or anti-clockwise, everybody, it is a clockwise, clear? Now if it is, same ball, imagine, so I will take a surface, so about that point, R is an 0, 0, so now the ball is uh, coming towards to it, disc, same disc guys, same disc is moving towards to it. It is what it is. So anybody? So it is clockwise or anti-clockwise. You can verify it according to that you can go. So that is what it is. Anybody? So V is equals to R omega. So now by two. About this one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So angular momentum is equals to we all knows that. So M R M R omega. Sorry, M R V. So it is inwards or outwards. Check it, everyone. Verify it and let me know. Yes, please. Inwards or outwards? First one. So two things, translation and as well as rotation. You have to make it both. You can see. So velocity of the particles V. So it is. You can come from the R cross V. You can apply. So what will happen? Everybody. So R is just right now normally. So what is there? L is equals to LT plus I omega. Okay, L plus R minus. So L is equals to this one. M into R MRV. So V I will replace it. So I will directly write now this plus R minus you have to verify because moment of inertia through this point, which is equals to MR square by 2. So it will turn plus R minus you verify it. R cross V. So it is actually, you can see that it is moving clockwise or anti-clockwise. So rolling, rolling actually. What is that guys? Anti-clockwise. Anti -clockwise. So anti-clockwise means inwards or outwards? Everybody. Outwards. Outwards it is. Okay. So outwards means negative or positive? Negative. Understanding? So negative MR square by 2 into omega. So we all know that V is equals to R omega. So we'll replace it MR r omega minus mr square by 2 omega which is equals to mr square omega by mr square by 2 omega which is equals what is the answer ra? 1 minus 2 1 minus 2 which is equals what guys yes please 1 by 2 so which is the answer is mr square by 2 omega but inverts are outwards that is very important everybody it is outwards okay because it is anti-clockwise so please make it any doubt anybody can ask me are you clear everybody this is about the disc not about the ring okay ring is different disc is different now again i'm saying remember if it is the disc if it is the disc it has been like drawn like this if it is the ring only just it has been drawn like this okay Rudreswar? it is a ring Okay, and it is a disc. Any doubt you can ask. Okay, ma. Girls, everybody understood? Ah? So now, 
So imagine okay. just sure. I'm 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 rolling a ring on the surface, not a disc now. I'm rolling a ring on halo, like nothing. Ring means we all people knows. So about the point, about the point O. So okay. So where the center of mass, velocity of the center of mass is V. So we have to find the moment of uh, inertia through this point. Okay. So actually it is a ring whose mass is m and radius is r. So we all know that velocity is equal to r omega. So let us start doing now. So it is actually making clockwise or anti-clockwise. Angular velocity will decide. Clockwise or anti-clockwise? Everyone. Anti-clockwise. Clear everyone? So angular momentum about this one is equal to translational plus about the center of mass. That is what uh, we can say. It is rotational. So we can take, so which is equals to this one. What is the formula? Translational formula. Mv r perpendicular. So Mv r perpendicular means capital R. So that I'll make it because it is acting, you can see positive or negative. How we can see it is acting inwards or outwards. You can verify it. Everybody. So it is acting inwards or outwards. Translational one. It is moving, rolling anti clockwise. So it is acting outwards or inwards. Everybody. It is inwards understanding so translational motion here also translational motion the direction is always it is inwards okay and rotational motion is it is the total it is actually outwards but because why means the velocity is the body is uh, rolling so now you can take so what is that m v r and plus or minus we have to decide now it is anti-clockwise plus or minus everybody it is, please respond. It is what? Minus. minus. So minus, and what is the what is the center of mass? Or the, what is the axis of rotation? Uh, moment of inertia through the center of mass. Anybody can tell? I is equals to. Speak loudly and tell me. Ringra. M R square. M R square. So M R square into omega. Okay, wa? that's all it is. So which you have make it. So M V, V means what? R omega into R minus M R square omega, which is equals to, you can see everybody. So M R square omega minus M R square omega. So what is the linear, linear, sorry, angular momentum about the ring? Everybody? Yes, please. What is the angular momentum about that point? Everybody, please respond. I love you. So anti-clockwise, so it is outwards. So how much right is about a ring? About a ring, it is equals to zero. So angular momentum about the center of a ring is equals to zero. Are you clear, everybody? Any doubt? Anybody can ask. Understand, Amma? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So this is how you have to find the angular momentum about the different symmetrical object. Remember, it is applicable only symmetrical objects. So most of the entire syllabus will be having only symmetric objects. So you don't need to worry about it. Okay. Clear everyone. So now with this, uh, we'll stop and we'll continue from here. And uh, tomorrow we are going to make it the next concept. So mostly we'll be, I think, as I said, long back, three more concepts is remaining. So we'll end up this one. Okay. When uh, inclined self is rolling, that is one concept. And the next two more concepts are there. When it is over, this concept will be over. Okay. So with this, I'll stop. I hope you all understand today's class. So it is very, very important. So please kindly practice it. When you are putting the more sums only, you can able to do it well. Okay. So this, I'll stop. Thank you, everyone. We'll meet tomorrow's class. Please revise, revise entire chapter and practice. Morning, wake up and practice. 5 to 6. Must. Tomorrow, Saturday only. Sunday only. So use it. You have two more days only. Tomorrow, full day you can spend for this chapter. This is an extremely important chapter for J.E. and NEET. You remember. So please, whole day you spend also. I am very happy. I am not. That is for your betterment only. So let us solve 100, 200, 300 questions. So that you will be become more uh, expert in this. That is what is needed. Okay. Thank you. Wake up early and start working.